A new government with local MPs in the cabinet. But what do young Midlanders want from newly elected politicians? It's really important that you do acknowledge the younger generation because we're the people that are going to be following on and it's the older people now making choices around our lives and we don't have any control over that. Well, uh, young people have been talking politics today in Coventry, discussing changes they'd like to see in policing and the criminal justice system. It's the latest in a series of events called Hope Hacks, which encourages 15 to 25-year-olds to have their say about what it means to have a fair society. So what are they expecting from the Westminster contingent? Laura May McMullen has been to ask them. They've got you lot, so before I go, hope. Ah! Hope. Ah! Young people united and wanting to make their voices heard. The main focus of this youth-led event in Coventry today was to share ideas and opinions to help shape the future of policing. We need to have that trust, that confidence that we can talk to them, that they're our friends, you know, they're there to help us, they're there to protect us. So it's very essential that there's a connection and a relationship with police. There's youth and there's the police. Youth don't feel safe and the police also don't feel safe sometimes. So you just have to come to a middle ground where you meet. It needs to be the young people and the police working together, not against each other. And I think that's the big thing that needs to change. Today's event was the 33rd so-called Hope Hacks meeting, which have been happening nationally since 2020. It was also a chance for the West Midlands Violence Reduction Partnership to showcase their My Tomorrow campaign, an initiative across the region for young people to influence future policy makers. Doing youth groups and hearing the opinions of young people, I definitely think that, that that trust needs to be reformed. I think there's so much talking, 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 but not enough doing, doing, doing. And I think the doing needs to happen more often. And there were calls today on the new government to act. There isn't yet a minister for youth. The accountability for young people is split across government and nobody knows what to do because there is, the accountability is not there. So we'd have a, I'd have a minister for you. I feel like it is a very good thing for this change to happen. It will create, hopefully, a better future that we're hoping for. It is not just something that would be nice uh, it is vital for this country to improve. Authorities believe events like this are making a difference. According to West Midlands Police, serious youth violence has fallen across the region over the last two years. We've recently changed to a new way of working within Coventry and across the region. And subsequently, we've seen the amount of violence go down across the board. But that doesn't mean people feel safe all the time. And I think it's an ongoing piece of work to ensure that we were patrolling in the right places, we were visible. And certainly the Hope Collective here say they want to create and see change. Laura May McMullen, BBC Midlands Today, Coventry.